you know, some people would say, hey, you know, what do we really care about Brian Williams? Why do we care about his javelin career or whatever? Well, I think the reason why there are a lot of people out there that care is because they're in a similar situation. In the United States and, you know, in other countries too, not everybody's going to have these picture-perfect careers like Pitkamaki or Torkilson. Uh, you know, those guys started out when they were 8 to 10 years old, and it's not – they're so – it's so foreign to think about uh, their situation compared to most other people's situation that either don't get to touch the javelin in high school um, or, you know, just getting started out in college and, um, you know, just the training situation that they're in. They're not going to have necessarily world-class coaching and they just have to make the best of their situation. Um, so I think people relate to that. I get emails I've had several emails of people who are just starting to throw and they're 23 years old. You know, I mean, it's later. I started when I was 21 and I think it's awesome. You know, people, you know, you don't, you don't want to pass up that chance because you don't know, you know, maybe it's your thing. Maybe you're going to, maybe it's really going to click, you know, regardless, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Hopefully, you know, you're training, staying in shape. And I think that's why people are drawn to my blogumentary. We don't know much about Pitkamaki. We don't know much about Torkilson for the most part. You know, you see some little small clips on YouTube of them maxing out, and it's very impressive, you know, that they're able to lift that much weight and all that. But we don't really see a comprehensive workout plan, and um, we don't know anything really about their personalities. So I think that's kind of the draw. You know, there's – there's going to be people that are going to like the blogumentaries. There's going to be people that are going to hate them. Um, you know, throughout the summer, I did a lot of the cross training stuff, you know, and like all this marketing stuff and everything, maybe give someone a laugh. Um, some people aren't going to think it's funny, but the thing that I will say about that, there is a very important part. There is a very important point I wanted to make with those blogumentaries. Last summer, I com I consumed myself making the movie, the movie. And um, it, if you overwhelm yourself with javelin or any event, then, and that's that goes for anything, you spend too much time um, thinking about one thing. It's it's probably gonna you know overwhelm you, and you're gonna get burned out on it, and that's what happened. So, you know, that's I would I would attribute that is being part of, you know, some of the problems I had last season. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to pick up, I didn't pick up a javelin. I didn't pick up a javelin from May until just, you know, a week ago or something here, here in October. So if that tells you anything, you got to, you have to take a break. And I'm still in decent shape from, you know, climbing the mountains crawling around in caves, skateboarding, like doing all this stuff, but, you know, not necessarily going to the javelin forums, not necessarily watching 